My name is Jake Thompson Hair. I'm a hairdresser that's been known for doing avant-garde hair. I want to show you guys some of the cool things that I've been known for. First time this has been on video, so let's, uh, let's get to it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Alright guys, so when I'm starting to shave, well this piece right here is something I won with in 2011 and one of the cool things about it is you start to see inside of the shape. One of the things whenever I started doing avant-garde hair is I really, really couldn't stand synthetic hair. Synthetic hair is really, really hard to work with. It's super shiny. It has like this, it almost has like this really unnatural shine to it. But when I won um, Naha, which is North American Hairstyling Awards in 2011, the, one of the things is that I was staring at synthetic hair in my studio and you could actually see inside of the hair because I was looking at it this direction. And I wanted to, because most of this hair, when you, when, you, when you create this hair, most of the time when you put it on somebody, you bend it like this, right? You braid it into the hair or you bend it. And so it has this absurd, kind of shine to it. And I didn't really want to have, I didn't want to use this hair and have it have a shine to it. When you look inside of the hair, you can actually see it has more of like a matte finish. And so I was thinking, what about if I was to carve a piece and make it um, where you connect, when you start to see it, it looks a little bit more matte, like real hair. And so this is where this kind of collection came, came alive. So with this, this is kind of something that um, I want to share with you guys. So as I start to put the hair inside here, you can start to see the actual layers itself. And so, um, yeah, as I start to clipper it, because I use a clipper, you can, you can use a scissor, but when I start to clipper it, you can start to see it in a really, um, you can start to see a lot of that texture and you can start to see that, that color coming through. So. And I comb it with a pick to uh, smooth any of those unwanted pieces out. As you can see that like a lot of those layers coming through, the yellow, the blue, the black, you start to see the actual shape. You can see oh, how it's just almost like layered. It's layered like um, a canyon would do in the mountains over years. It's layered how trees are layered from the inside core to the outer rings. And how, and that's, that's one of the things that I was really super inspired by when I was creating a collection like this, is being able to layer hair to make it look very, very organic. Make it look like nature. Nature is one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to hairdressing. And if I can create collections that mimic flowers, nature, rocks, um, I would encourage you guys to check out my YouTube channel. It's Jake Thompson Hair. I'm gonna put that right there in the video. You can see that. Check out some of my work. And you can see how from very avant-garde to very, very classic, but most of my avant-garde work has, it's very, very inspired by nature and just the beauty around us. Because we have so much beauty around us. I'm going to be sharing a lot more things from classic hairdressing to a lot more cool avant-garde things to everything in the middle, from color, I'm gonna be talking about how to build a, how to build an amazing clientele as well, uh, lots of business things. There's gonna be a lot of really cool things to check out, so I would encourage you guys to subscribe. And you can see, when you do something like this, it's really fun to cut. Um, I actually did this, I did one of these looks, I did this exact same type of look, I um, was art directing this hair show in Toronto. Actually, I'm sorry, it was Montreal. And I did this look for uh, the main 
one of our main models. But as you can see, it's very, you've got the yellow, the black, the blue, it's just marbleized all throughout there. And of course, this is a very round shape, as you can tell, if you're a hairdresser. I mean, you could, I mean, there's just so much cool things when you start to look at that. I mean, I hope you guys really, really like that. Like it, comment it. Um, if you like this, like the video, subscribe guys. I mean, I've got some really, really cool things to show you guys. And you can just keep shaving and shaving and shaving and shaving. You know, that's what's super fun. I mean, I can shave this all the way up into a really cool mohawk, which I think I might. So, just keep taking more hair off and more, and you start to reveal more of that marbling, you know? As that marbling comes through, as you start to really, and that's what's so fun about hairdressing is that, or just doing avant-garde work. One of the things about avant-garde work is that, you know, avant-garde work has been known to be very, it, it, it can be very ugly, because I think way too many people make things, they, they, they throw, they throw the whole kitchen sink into something like that. But, I mean, avant-garde, can be very, very beautiful as well. And I really like how that blue is extending all the way to that bottom. I think that is looking amazing right through there. It really is truly amazing on how um, beautiful our, our world is. And we can be inspired by so many beautiful things out there. I mean, put your phone down and Start to look around at nature and start to look around at things that are just so, so beautiful. Recently, my daughter is going to be turning one, and I think the most beautiful thing is that she's starting to see things for the first time. And that's what I truly love about seeing things through her eyes. We had her out in the lake, and it was the most beautiful, beautiful thing ever because she just had a ball. So I would encourage you guys, again, like, you know, stop and see what you're kind of inspired by. You know, look at this beautiful world. So, if anything, you know, I try and do some of my, my work in this world because I am very, very inspired by what, or what our world has to offer, you know? Let's take a gander, let's look around. One of the things about avant-garde hair that you wanna pay attention to is you wanna look and see how everything is starting to balance, right? This side is a little bit thicker, this side comes in a little bit more over through here, so I'm gonna take a little bit more hair out through that side. And I, of course, when you're, when you're standing super close to something like this, you want to, you want to stand back, right? You want to kind of stand back and see how is it looking. And when you're doing something like this, it's all about choosing colors, right? I'm actually going to be developing a course later on on how to build this from scratch. You know, I'll go into great detail on really how to choose colors, all of that stuff. Because color is really what's going to make this pop. And again, you can personalize this however you're really liking. That's what's so fun about creating something like this. You know, again, thanks for coming to my channel, guys. I really love hairdressing. I've been doing this for quite a while. And one of the cool things about hairdressing is sharing with other hairdressers, making them better, making them realize their potential, how far they can go in the industry. And you can start to see, I actually, I'm kind of starting to put dip, like divots in there just a little bit to create highs and lows this direction, as there is so much texture happening this way, so you're seeing the highs and lows with the color, but then you start to see a little bit more highs and lows on top, in between like those uh, kind of canyons. 
I had this idea one time, and this is before the whole quarantine and all that stuff, but we were actually going to be, I wanted to do this going to one of the festivals, one of those global festivals. And how cool would this be to see a bunch of cool, you know, guys, girls, dancing around with really cool hair like this. Like this would be amazing. I'm all about asymmetry. You know, not everything has to be perfectly balanced. Not everything has to have this kind of, you know, just perfectly symmetrical look to it. So as I start to style this out and as I start to keep cutting, I can start to see my shape kind of coming alive. And again, did I know exactly where I was gonna go from the beginning? I knew that I wanted a round shape, yes, so short in the front, long in the back. You know, how did I know it was kind of, I really kind of, the, the, the actual color itself and then the marbling really predicted really where I wanted to go. And so that's kind of, that's my end all be all vision. When I'm creating something like this, I really, I start to cut and I let it come alive. That's, that's how I work. You know, I don't have a, I know, where I want to go, but I don't really know is it going to be direction A, B, C, or D. They're all round, but, and so with that, you know, as you kind of start to see what I'm doing and where I'm going, you'll start to see where kind of the end all be all look for this is going to go. One of the things is I start to kind of finish up this shape, and the, the one thing you have to remember is that it all really comes down to your taste. You know, when you're creating avant-garde hair, like your taste might be a little bit different, right? And nobody's taste is exactly the same. We're all like fingerprints. Nobody's exactly the same. So when you're being creative, um, it is, it's like when you guys go to a, like an art gallery or an art show, and you might see a painting, and somebody else absolutely loves it. And then the next person is like, I hate it. I do not, I'm not inspired by it at all. So you might look at something like this and you might absolutely love it. And the next person might be like, no, it's not for me. And that's perfectly fine. If you're being creative, one of the things is that you kind of have to have tough skin. You know, there's gonna be people out there that don't like it and they hate it, it's okay. I don't really care. I mean, if there's people out there that love it, awesome. But really at the end of the day, being, being in the position I've been in, competing as far as doing photography, you know, and it's, it's interesting. People are gonna love your stuff, people are gonna hate it. So, it's not about the naysayers, it's about what inspires you. So, if I can inspire you to grow, Awesome. But I would say you have to keep working at it. This is something that didn't come naturally to me. You know, I had to keep working at that. And with one of the, uh, with one of the courses that I actually want to create, I kind of want to show you guys how to do avant-garde hair. As far as a clipper goes, I'm actually done with this specific shape for me personally. So I'm going to take a little bit of a hairspray and I'm going to start to work um, this shape kind of how I see should be finished off and with something like this and again I'm going for not symmetrical I want a little asymmetry in there And that right there is my finished avant-garde look. And again, I would recommend checking out my Instagram. I did this look live on a model in Montreal. It was absolutely spectacular. It was beautiful. Different kind of coloring for sure. But with today, yellow, blue, black, those are my three main colors that I used on this. And then again, my main idea was I wanted a round shape, shorter in the front, longer in the back. It's almost very mohawkish, for sure. 
you know, you've got uh, about a height through here, and then I created something where it's asymmetrical. So it's asymmetrical on the side right through here. So to kind of kick a little bit off balance with that. And then I added a little bit of a rooster tail in the back, just to kind of create a little bit more um, actual, I wanted to create just a little bit more interest. You know, I wanted it to look just not so traditional. This is not a very traditional look. This is something that, again, very avant-garde. Uh, this is not for the faint of heart. This is something that you're gonna get noticed. Uh, this is something you could do, I mean, I would love to do this for a fashion show. Um, you could do this for a festival. You could do this for uh, photo shoots. I've been doing mine for photo shoots. That's what got me North American Hairstyles of the Year in 2011. So again, there's uh, a lot of really cool things. I really wanna thank you guys for joining me. Again, my name is Jay Thompson Hair. And welcome to my channel. Stick around, subscribe, check out some of my other stuff. I'm gonna be posting weekly things that are gonna show you guys everything from very classic hairdressing to very avant-garde hairdressing. So again, hit that subscribe button or maybe just lightly push it, right? You don't have to smash it. You don't have to like, you know, just lightly tap it, okay? Cool. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. My name is Jake Thompson Hair.